We're here with Pat Gagnon from Mesa, Arizona. Pat has Nico Hobbies. Pat, tell us a little bit about your uh, products, please. Well, I've got um, my main line is mini pusher jets. These are shrunk down versions of popular pusher jets like you can find on RC groups and block flyer and RC park flyers. Um, they all fly with the same power package, the same motor. Um, this is your F-22, is this? F-22 is the most popular one. Uh -huh. It's got uh, an 1806 2500 kV motor, Hyperion Prop Saver GWS 4530 Prop. Uh, inside we have a 10 amp speed controller and I fly with a Hyperion 3S 850 battery. Uh -huh. And I use the XPS nano receivers for all my micro jets. And when it has get, a very nice speed range. It'll go slow, it'll be, go fast, and they're very highly aerobatic, aren't they? Big wing area, um, big built up section in the front, gives you a lot of lift. Uh, it'll fly slow, it'll high alpha. Uh, it'll fly fast, the top speed is about 55, 60 miles an hour. Um, unlimited vertical, the plane weighs 6.8 ounces. Uh, as it sits with the battery, uh, uh, uses the same power system as the uh, F22, the 1806 2500 kV Outrunner. It uh, again has just the two 5 gram servos. Uh -huh. I use HXT 500s. Uh, 10 amp speed controller, a Hyperion 3S 850 battery, and again the XPS receivers is what I'm using. But uh, it's up to the builder to use whichever receiver they fly with. Um, this plane weighs about six and a half ounces all up and you get about 10 ounces of thrust out of the power system. All right, so well, if you want one of these great pusher uh, jets, you go to nicohobbies.com. Thanks a lot, Pat. Okay, Good luck. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Here are the SR-71 Blackbird. Uh -huh. It is uh, three millimeter for the most of the parts and then six millimeter for the center spine. Pretty simple construction. You just get, uh, get the wing, main wing pieces together and the top and bottom verticals, and then the center pieces for the six millimeter, and then you put your battery hatches on, and it's pretty much complete. Just use super glue, put that together. Uh, I actually use a product from Beacon. Uh -huh. uh, it's called uh, Three in One Advanced Craft Glue. Uh, you can get it at almost uh, any craft store. Um, uh -huh. Beacon also came out with a new product called Foam Tack, which is sold by uh, several vendors, uh, RC vendors like RC Foam. Um, and others uh, that you can find it there. Is it like a white glue? Is that what it is? It's uh, it's a contact cement. It's a clear contact cement. But it doesn't hurt the foam. But it doesn't hurt the foam. It's foam safe. The original Beacons 3-in-1 has a little bit of acetone in it. So it's, uh, you know, contact cements are typical. You put uh, a layer of cement on both sides, very light, press the parts together and pull them apart a couple of times. Let it set up for about uh, 30 seconds and then stick the part back on and you're, you're pretty much stuck after that. So this is the mini Draken. This is this is one of your fast ones. The mini Draken. This is for some reason. There's something about this design. It makes this plane go faster. Even in the larger version that Marcel and RC Groups did, um, the for the way this whole front is put together and with the delta wing like that, I guess the airflow over this thing is a lot less uh, resistant than the the other push yeah, jets. Yeah, so You don't have anything blocking the airflow in the intakes or what anything. What are the two bays for? You got two doors on the bottom. That's just to get your mainly to get your battery pack and your uh, electronics in oh, there. You have to have both um, of them open to slide it in. Yeah, the, it, it's hard to get the battery in with just one open. Yeah. So you open both of them. You kind of angle it in there, set it, and then put your hatches back on. Very nice. We got F15. We got the Draken. Uh, this is a Yardbird F-18, and this thing, this thing's amazing, the SST. Yeah, the Concorde is something that I drew up myself, and I'm actually using the uh, bigger motor that most people that fly park jets use. That's the 2212-6, 2200kV motor. Uh -huh. um, you can find it at a whole bunch of different places. RC Hot Deals, Grayson sells a version, um, RC Timer. Uh, Light Flight RC, all these vendors carry it. Basically, it's the same motor out of China. It's made by Supo. Um, but it's for some reason that is the park jet motor to have when you're flying the bigger park jets. All right. Nico's hobby if you want to go vertical. And we like going vertical, don't yes, we? Yes, we love going vertical.
flying the Russian bird? Yep, MiG-29. How's the slow speed performance? Looks like you're going to show me. All right, so we saw the Russian. Uh, let's talk about it, Pat. Yep. This is the late one of the latest ones. Yep, this is the MiG-29. Um, it's same power package as all the Nico Hobbies planes, the 1806 2500kV motor. Flies uh, similar to the F-22. Very right? similar to the F-22. This is probably, I would say, number two in aerobatics um, of all the kits that I sell, and then the F-18 close to that. A very uh, simple build, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Just a little Hyperion 3S 850 pack is what I use. Um, you can use up to a thousand milliamps and as low as 450 milliamp. And you get good run time, don't you? I got nine and a half minutes on that flight. Um, that was mixed throttle. If I went full throttle most of the time, I'd probably get about nine minutes. Um, of course, the, the lower I stay on the throttle, the longer I can fly. I've, I think I've flown one up to 12 minutes on one of these packs. Well, um, that's a lot it. of off throttle and a lot of hovering around, you know, at low throttle. Nice little aircraft. Very Love this nice. Plane. Nice flying plane. All right, buddy. Thank you. Okay. This is the Nico Hobbies Concorde SST. All right. Platform Defron profile pusher.
And it has vertical performance, is that correct? It has good vertical performance. Tell me a little bit about the electronics on it, please. It's got the uh, 2212-6, 2200 kV motor, APC 64E prop. It's got a, well, I'm using a 40 amp speed controller. You can use a 30 amp if you want. And a Hyperion 3S 1300 pack. I see you're using XPS radio today. And an XPS radio. All right, here we go. All right, just straight out, it's fine. Okay. And that was a demonstration of the high roll rate on the SST. How much expo are you running on this? None. Nothing? Nothing. The expo's all in the thumb. All right. Looks like a lawn dirt. Landing right to left. Five's dead stick. You're dead? Dead stick straight in. On the taxiway. 